I guess the most common thing that scientists are interested in with ice shelves is um, their role in sea level rise because the ice shelves are basically areas where the ocean is in contact with the ice sheet and so the ocean can melt that ice sheet and add basically water to the ocean and then that can raise um, sea level. Um, so that's been, I guess, a big part of the studies around the Thwaites because the Thwaites Glacier is basically melting or the, the ice loss has doubled in the last um, 30 years, which is pretty amazing. With the AUV, what you can do is actually access some data that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise because going with a ship, you tend to get some vertical profiles of the water column to get an idea of temperature, salinity. Uh, with the AUV, you can do transex, which means that you can pretty much do a straight line towards the ice shelf and back. Uh, and you can target some water masses that are important. Um, what we're trying to see is whether the, those water masses are accessing or are, um, are getting into the ice shelf cavity and, and whether they're actually helping to melt. This AUV is particularly good for what we want to do because it's a lot larger than a lot of the other AUVs out there, which means that we can put quite a large payload in there. One, of, one payload, for instance, is the water sampler. Um, so we've developed a custom water sampler. It can take 20 samples on every mission. Um, and then when we get that back, we've got individual water samples um, from any position along its mission track that, we, that we're interested in. Um, so um, this capability is, uh, for us, it's, it's, a, it's a game changer. When you do send it on a long mission uh, where the vehicle goes so far that it's no longer within any range of you being able to hear it or contact it or control it or hear how it's doing, you're basically left with hours of just deathly silence where you're just kind of sitting there uh, hoping everything is, has gone right. Um, so I wouldn't call it tense, but it's a very interesting, <laughs> it's a very interesting seven hours is what it ended up being of us just kind of, uh, you know, leaning back, thinking about everything we had done to get to that point, you know, trying to not to double, uh, double guess ourselves. But in the end, uh, everything worked quite well and the vehicle came back.